<laughs> Hello, people. Me again. Another beautiful day. Yep. Hope your five senses work. Health and strength is good. What? What's up, Steam Deck fans? You know, Steam Deck Tribe, Steam Deck Nation, Steam Deck Universe, Steam Deck World, Steam Deck Legion. What's good? Steam Deck Mob, what's happening? And the Steam Deck Squad, what's up? I know y'all was sitting there like, what? He hasn't put out anything today? Hmm. About the Steam Deck? Chris, what is this nonsense? <laughs> so you're playing around here. Look, when it comes, look, when it comes to this, you, you know what? When it comes to this YouTube stuff, I learned a lot of lessons. Um, not to be desperate. That's number one. Not to be greedy. Uh, never let jealousy or envy into your heart. Um, never be jealous or envious of anybody uh, with their YouTube channel because they got just be, just because they got a bigger subscriber base. I never let jealousy and envy come near me. So <clears throat> uh, I just try to stay stay consistent and just live with the results, and that's what I do. So um, <laughs> I was I, I was doing videos earlier today. So actually, I was reading up on articles, a whole bunch of them. Uh, um, I was reading up on the Half Life VR. Um, you can turn Half Life uh, Alex. You can um, you can turn. Uh, Turn off VR more than Half-Life Alex and play it. <laughs> then I seen another article here on um, on uh, DLSS with uh, Forza Horizon on uh, uh, five. I think they're up to like 23 now. So uh, games that support uh, DLSS three. Um, then um, I was reading another article on uh, Endless uh, Dungeon. They were asking if it was going to come to the Steam Deck. So I was sitting here reading up on some articles. You know, um, I seen the one about the uh, the uh, Dolphin uh, emulator that's supposed to be coming out in the second half of uh, 2020, uh, like in the middle of 2023. So the Steam Deck is good, you know, um, uh, as far as like games are concerned uh, and updates. You know, um, I've seen an article on The Last of Us on a Euro Gamer. Um, Naughty Dog said they're working on an update, so it, that that will be fixed. Um, I think, uh, to me, the issue with uh, The Last of Us, um, you know, one, it's a communication issue between Valve and uh, Naughty Dog, so, and I think Naughty Dog didn't run a, I don't, Naughty Dog didn't run a serious test, a serious test on um, The Last of Us, you know, um, like, uh, like run it on one graphics card, run it on another, like run it on an Intel graphics card. AMD graphics card, NVIDIA, and see what issues come up, you know. That's what they should have done before they released it, you know, so. And they, they, should, they should have put it through some, put it, they should have put it through some uh, rigorous tests with the Steam Desk, and Steam Deck, <laughs> I say desk, and see what the, what the problem is. So, um, uh, I think, uh, you know, it's a communication issue because, look, um, when it comes to, um, you know, running games on the Steam Deck, you know, Valve and EA was working together to, um, to make sure that the, um, their, their, uh, EA games run on the Steam Deck, but even though Valve and EA communicated, Valve went back to check and make sure everything is good, so, when it comes to the, um, Last of Us now, um, it's a communication issue, and one, um, Naughty Dog should have ran some serious tests on the game before they brought it to Steam, like run it on an Intel graphics card, see what you come up with. Run it on a um, on a uh, AMD graphics card, and then run it on an Nvidia graphics card, and then run it on the handhelds like the Steam Deck and One X and A and Neo and stuff like that. See what you come up with. Then talk to Valve and AMD and see what can be what can be done before you announce. You know, like before you announce. That the um, that the game is coming to the the PC or Linux or the Steam Deck. So that's what I think Naughty Dog should have done. So commu commu communication is the key. So um, you know when it comes to the gaming on the PC or uh, we're br we're bringing like PlayStation exclusives. 
to, to the Steam Deck or Linux or the, or the Steam, you know. So you got it's it's a communication issue. But other than that, man, um, the Steam Deck, um, the Steam Deck is good right now. The Steam Deck is good. So um, I was sitting here reading up on articles just to see what's happening in the industry and um, see, um, see what was going on because um, you know when you read the you know. <laughs> reading, read, reading is very important in, in this, uh, in this, in this, uh, in this, in this field. Anyway, um, where am I at? <clears throat> says, says here, uh, and is endless dungeon on Steam Deck. Devs comments on Valve handheld said the Steam Deck is a fantastic device, letting players take their existing Steam libraries on the go for a spot battle royale in a coffee shop or a forex strategy game in the bed. It's also led to plenty of questions about upcoming releases being released onto the platform. And in a recent developer interview, preview uh, Amplitude uh, Studios, we asked if Endless Dungeon is coming to the Steam Deck. And it says, here everything we know about Endless Dungeon on deck. Looking for the best accessories on Steam Deck, be sure to check. But anyway, it says here, we asked an important question to Main uh, D. D. Walbert and Chief Creative Officer of Amplitude Studio. Right now, the game is playing well on the Steam Deck. I think for us, the little adjustments we need to complete between the ticks of the yellow, basically, he said, referring to the difference between Valve Great on Deck design and and playable on Deck one. So, says I hope we'll we'll do everything to get the green tick. I love the Steam Deck, so I'll do everything to make sure it's perfect, perfect on that. So that's hopeful for now. In our review, we felt the frenetic uh, shooting uh, tower defense mechanic mechanics of Endless Dungeon would make it an ideal road light uh, on the Steam Deck. A platform already uh, bursting with bursting with them. Say Endless Dungeon is coming to PlayStation 5, Series X and S, PC on May the 18th, 2023. So it's come to PS4 and Xbox One at launch. And while the Switch version is planned, there's currently no release as yet. You can pre-order the physical version of the game from the game official site here. And it says, from, you know, um, potential coming to Steam Deck, be sure to check out Hogwarts Legacy Resident Evil 4 Remake. So, this game looks like it's, it, it, they're working on it. It's um, <clears throat> They're working on it because basically they're saying, it says, between Valve Great on Deck Green and the Playable on Deck 1 Yellow. So, um, it says, I hope we, we do everything to get the green tick. So, they're, that means they're working on the Steam Deck version, so trying to fix whatever issues that that, are, that they're having. So um, <clears throat> the Steam Deck version will be coming, you know. So um, I'll keep you guys posted on that. The other one is this: uh, Forza Forza Horizon Five. Um, <clears throat> says here, uh, Forza Horizon Five DLSS three update is now available. Nvidia I iChat update 2 says Forza Horizon 5 bring the total games up to I said 23 I mean to say now it's 29 sorry about that Nvidia showcase in the performance you can expect RTX 40 series GPU says uh, DLSS 3 comes to popular critical game racing game Forza 5 this week offering massive performance boost RTX 40 series GPU Nvidia knows that DLSS 3 supports Available in 29 games, the addition rate seven times faster than six months of DLSS 2. And <clears throat> that is that. So, um, <clears throat> Forza Horizon 5 supports uh, DLSS 3. Mm. Say so at 4K 2048 by 2021, all three RTX 40, uh, 40 series card with DLSS in performance mode can deliver average frame. Higher than 120 frames, but at 1440p, this number jumps considerably. But the RTX 4090 and the RTX 4080 push into 200 frames, and the RTX 4070 
at 175. <laughs> so there, you guys are covered when it comes to video games, man. <laughs> it's a Forza Horizon 5, a DLSS 3, man. Um, what else? Then uh, Half-Life Alex. Since Half-Life Alex can be playable on Steam Deck hmm, without VR modes, thanks to the mod. Says your Half-Life Alex Valve Stellar FPS is now playable on Steam Deck without the need for a VR headset, thanks to the ambitious new mod out now. Says if you're. Whoops. Let me, let me close this down here. Let's see. Whoops. Says here. Um, if you always want to play Half-Life Alex but lack either a VR headset setup, PC profitable enough to do so. Well, you have your day has come. A new mod for the superlative uh, Valve FPS game allow Alex to be played without VR and via head Steam Deck. It's still not Half-Life 3, but those of us who have always wanted to continue the journey of Gordon Freeman and Comp without buying an expensive virtual reality rig, this is ideal. Says. Uh, Finally, you'll need a legitimate copy of Half-Life Alex purchased through Steam. After that, the mod APTLY name Half-Life Alex No VR is extremely simple to install. And even now, you can customize controls on Steam Deck. As mentioned, it's still early access. Many updates include the addition of secondary fire modes and actual Half-Life Alex UI user interface expected in the future. Nevertheless, as you can see in the footage, it works fa fantastically, kind of like you're playing Half-Life 2, but with all the mission stories and style of Alex. So, there you go. Mm -hmm. You Steam Deck fans are getting what? Spoiled. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then, um, Endless Dungeon. That should be coming soon, So, but, but that comes out... Uh, May 18, 2023, so a Steam Deck version is in, is in the works, so they just got to check the tick box and make sure the Steam Deck version is ready, so you Steam Deck fans are getting, uh, what's that word I'm looking for, spoiled, but you earned it, anyway, <laughs> but yeah, you Steam Deck fans are good, man, um, with all the games and updates that you're getting, you know, for, the, for that little, for that little hand, for that little hand help. You got what DLSS DLSS three for the Steam Deck. Hmm. Endless Dungeon is coming. Half Life Alex can play be played on the Steam Deck with a mod. Oh yeah. Yeah, I will leave those articles in the description box. Oh yeah. But on the um the Last of Us um uh, Naughty Dog is working on an update, so uh, they have to communicate with Valve and then communicate with AMD and then go from there. But they are working on an update for the uh, for the game, so the performance should be better. So I will definitely keep you guys posted. Now, what else do we have here for the Steam Deck? For those Steam Deck fans who thought I wasn't gonna do it, put out anything today, think again. <laughs> Let's see here. We got the Dolphin Emulator that's coming out in the middle of 2023. What else? You know, so, and then there's a clone, Clonezilla, how to back up your Steam Deck with Clonezilla. Hmm, never heard of it. Clonezilla. Says, uh, uh, download Clonezilla, copy it to the USB flash drive, boot it into Clonezilla live environment with an external hard drive. Go through Clonezilla setup process, clone your Steam Deck internal SSD to external drive. Okay. Okay. How to back up your Steam Deck with Clonezilla. And then those are the main steps. And it says first you'll need a USB flash drive with at least one gig of storage space for for the Clonezilla live environment. Since it takes up about 500 megabytes when unzip, you'll need an external hard drive or SSD. That matches, surpasses your Steam Deck internal SSD size. Mm. And what else? Uh, says we use an old Samsung 850 EVO 512 gigabyte SSD 
which puts which put inside an internal X X SSD in, enclosure. Now you need a USB uh, dock that includes at least three USB ports, one for Clonezilla USB drive, one for storage drive, and the third reserve for a keyboard. Yep, a keyboard. You also need you you. you Yep, a keyboard also needs since you'll have to type a bit during the backup process. Then it says here, uh, if you use an three an SD card with your Steam Deck, remove it before you start back up the process. Don't get confused when picking the storage drive to back up. Finally, make sure the Steam Deck battery is at near at least one hundred percent. And and um can take a while <laughs> so yeah clonezilla hmm. back up your steam deck back up your you know your steam deck uh, flash drive um, <clears throat> i mean hard drive no this, anything else anything else That's it, Clonezilla. So yeah, um, you can use Clonezilla um, to back up your, um, you know, hard drive, you know, on your Steam Deck. So I will leave that link in the description box. But other than that, Steam Deck is good. So yeah, um, I'll keep you guys posted if I find anything new. But that's all I got to cover for the Steam Deck. Anyway, leave this video for y'all to enjoy. Nice talking to you people again, Chris. Still Star Wars subject night. Peace.